Sager with Sager Steam Clean in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. I'm just going to show you how we make a uh, end that goes on our wand. It's like a pressure sprayer end. Uh, we use it to hose down the vans and stuff, but it's also something that we use to uh, heat up our water lines before we go in the home, especially in these cold weather environments. Uh, what I've got here is two lines. Uh, this one here is my butler line. Actually, butler uses a male end on it. Some of you guys have a female end for your connectors. As you can see, here's one of my wands. So butler system, we use the female ends. Uh, what we do is you just get yourself a quarter inch uh, 8005 jet is what butler does. And then uh, just makes this. So it's a, for butler, it's a female uh, connector with just the quarter inch jet going on the inside. So essentially, if you just take yourself female connector, get yourself a quarter inch jet, 8005. Here I just grabbed a stainless one out of the kit and it's not even quite the right size number. I think these are 0110015. So a smaller would put out a finer mist. But anyway, so you just put those two together. And uh, then you would, you know, use Teflon tape, whatever you put together. And you would create this. So that's your spray end, what we use to hook up. We'll sometimes also bring into the home, in my case, just to keep things, we'll slam them into a hose, and I'll show you in hopefully a video, that this quarter-inch connector, I'll just connect onto that piece right there. And sometimes when I need to, I'll just slide that into the two-inch hose that I'm using in the house that hooks up to the wand. So, of course, that isn't a two-inch, but the idea is, then I, if I have to do something else and I'm working, I can slide and throw that in. The suction from the hose is going to keep this part in there because you're going to have this pushed on and flowing water. And this is going to be inside the hose, flowing water into the two inch hose, into your waste tank, of course, keeping this line from freezing up while it's uh, out in the elements or up on a second, third, fourth, tenth story. Good luck with that in the wintertime, guys. And I don't see that here, but so I don't have enough experience on that. But anyway, so it keeps your line from freezing. If the, for some reason, you know, you can't build it like this and you've got the uh, female connectors on the end of your hose. So I would suggest get yourself maybe a quick connector or something like that. Just your male end. The piece would go there. What you can do is then you can just take right there, put your quarter inch jet on the end. And now you've got your own homemade uh, sh on shut off valve, everything, whatever you need to there on the hose. Or if you don't have, if you do have a shut off, you don't need it. Just get yourself a piece of pipe uh, and you'll have to of course put a adapter on it boom 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 there you go you don't want something quite that long to make your adapter which is going to be similar to this sorry about it all looking there then you could also just go for a shorter quarter inch inside there and of course your jet would look nice and pretty all put together there now so you can either use it with shut off or not you could also take and use some type of heat wrap heat shrink wrap you can take your heat gun you can put it on it heat her up blah 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 and of course you'd have some protective coating so with that piece when you put it all together that's going to connect with your female now you've got a sprayer end i don't like the sprayer end when i take and put it inside a hose sometimes because this will put out a bit of pressure so in my case i would just put that on straight so it just has good old wide open flow coming out and it's just safer with the hose suction and pulling it in it's not a spray kind of missing out and pushing so in your case then if you have the female connector then you're going to need to just get the male connector on it you could probably just slam it in there but it's harder to handle and keep track of so again i would recommend a longer connector maybe like that on the end um, and that would go in there if you want it again for a shut off or something you know hopefully your shut off is going to be down here of course because um, mine are not being that i'm in the reverse opposite so just some ideas and thoughts how you can build that. So you would have flow with water. Get that out of there. You can see, of course, you guys are familiar with this. So it would be flowing through versus a jet, which is going to push and pull and give more spray. So that's how you can build that water pressure line. Again, just get yourself a quarter inch 805 jet is what Butler uses to create that. Or you got to create yourself something in the straight version. We'll show you how that operates with us in a bit.